Interventional radiology is a subspecialty of radiology. Uh, we train in imaging and we are able to use uh, very uh, minimally invasive uh, devices or procedures to target therapies in various organ systems. As it relates to the pancreas uh, program at Weill Cornell Medical Center, there are numerous uh, procedures that we do to help the uh, physicians and patients that we're treating. Uh, this is always through a multidisciplinary approach where we interact very closely with our surgeon, uh, medicine, and uh, imaging colleagues to develop a best plan uh, for the particular patient. If we're talking about cancer, uh, these patients are always discussed at multidisciplinary tumor boards, and they're also discussed at the Center for Advanced Digestive Care uh, weekly meetings. And the reason for this is that it's a great idea to have all the specialists from the various disciplines uh, available for comment. So a patient that we would see that would have a pancreatic issue, whether it be a primary pancreatic malignancy, a patient who needs, who has chronic pancreatitis, who may need a islet cell transplant, or a patient that has pancreatic cancer that has spread to the liver, uh, we as interventional radiologists offer our opinion on whether or not this patient is an appropriate candidate for the therapies that we can offer. Our role in the process of um, pancreatic islet cell transplantation is actually doing the infusion of the islet cells into the liver. Okay? The, uh, Organ and everything is harvested before we're contacted. Uh, the patient and I already will have a relationship because we will see them in consult because we know they're going to be a candidate for this type of therapy and we will describe exactly what's going to happen. Uh, these procedures are done with moderate sedation. Uh, no general anesthesia is required. It's a, very, it's a relatively short procedure in that we use what's called a transhepatic access where we take a very small needle and puncture directly into the portal uh, system. The portal system happens to be the major supplier of the liver and where the islet cells are generally infused. And once we're satisfied that the uh, appropriate branch is, is uh, targeted, we'll then advance uh, a tube into the actual portal vein. At that time, uh, having our transplant colleagues in the room with us will then infuse the uh, islet cells into the, directly into the portal vein and then those cells get showered throughout the, uh, the liver. Um, after the procedure or after the infusion is completed, we would then plug up the hole with a device that does not allow for bleeding. So the bleeding risk in this type of procedure is very, very low. Again, that, in my opinion, is much better than having a major open surgery, which would require a lot more um, uh, recovery time.